Ah, E3, the world premiere gaming and computer event that every gamer looks forward to, in order to see what games are to be coming out in the near and far future, only to be disappointed when their dream game is not announced and probably will never be announced. Please just bring Mother 3 to Nintendo America, I beg you. <laughs> But despite that crushed dream, I truly am optimistic about E3 this year, as it seems Nintendo will announce a lot of games coming out for 2019. I love Nintendo, and I always try to cover Nintendo content on this channel whenever possible. And if you want to see more Nintendo content now or in the future, you can even check the annotations to see other videos, and maybe even subscribe. <coughs> oh, and don't forget Twitch! <coughs> okay, okay, no more plugs. However, despite all the games that people are anticipating, there is a game on my mind. One game in particular that has left an impression on me that I want to see at E3. One that has been in development for years that I want to see a new trailer for and hopefully a release date. No, it's not Animal Crossing nor Luigi's Mansion or any first party titles. The game I want to see is an indie title called Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> what is Untitled Goose Game, you may ask? Well, get your breadcrumbs ready, and let's find out. Untitled Goose Game is being developed by a four-person indie studio called House House, and published by Panic Games. They have worked on one previous game called Push Me, Pull You, which I have never played myself, but... What in the world? The goal of the game is to basically try and get the ball into the other team's goal, yet work together with your teammates in order to push and pull your ball and themselves where they need to be. The game is incredibly strange, yes, but it was their first game. The art style is simple and I do want to try it out one day. But getting back to our favorite non-named Knotswan, according to an interview by Shaq News, the game started out as a developer joke, where they just saw a picture of a goose and thought, oh yeah. Let's make a game about this adorable menace to society. <laughs> Ideas began to pile up over time, and they eventually decided to go through with the game. And honestly, thank God, I need this in my life. Let's talk about the basic premise of the game. It takes place in a village where people are minding their own business, innocently living their lives. But deep within the depths of the suburban hell, waiting to charge at the most opportune moment, the goose strikes. Gameplay footage shows a sandbox environment where your goal is to find numerous ways you could torture innocent bystanders. Chasing them, honking at them, stealing their stuff, putting that stolen stuff in a lake and other weird places, and basically causing misery as a horrible goose. And I'm not even being mean, that, that's what the game actually calls it. How rude, game. This game is strangely relatable as I've heard many tales of geese just being an overall nuisance. I remember hearing a personal story about how my history teacher in school was almost attacked by one. Don't let how cute this animal fool you, it can be vicious. Like there's Satan? And I'm pretty sure he's feeding his pet geese breadcrumbs made from the ashes of souls in hell. It truly blows my mind. Someone made a game where you are an evil goose who trolls people. You know that viral video about a guy walking down a path only to get blocked by an evil and aggressive goose and people laugh at them for a minute straight? They made a game about that. And it's awesome. Oh yeah, he always wants to get perverted. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> oh, he's good. Oh no! <laughs> 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 Out of all the indie games that came out from that showcase in 2018, this one was by far the funniest. It seems so insanely silly, just playing as a goose and messing around with people. I want this game to come out. Give me a trailer or something. I want more. Along with the Switch trailer, there is a bit of gameplay footage you can find on the developer's YouTube channel, where it goes into more detail about gameplay elements. Press X to honk. The text I've always wanted to see on my Switch. Miracles are real. It starts out with the untitled goose and their list of goals the player needs to achieve in order to succeed see through the level. Achievements such as making the farmer wear goofy hats, making him wet with the sprinklers, and even having a fabulous picnic. Also, can I just say, the goose has some of the nicest handwriting I've ever seen. When I write anything down, those who are fluent in hieroglyphics can't even understand my chicken scratch. The game has some stealth elements, as the footage often shows you sneaking behind the farmer to spook him, or running away and hiding from him in order to get certain items you need with completing tasks. You silly goose, you. <laughs> It fills me with mischievous glee every time I imagine all the chaos I could cause playing as a goose. 
The potential with this idea is truly high, and I can imagine the antics getting crazier and crazier as the game goes on. Not to mention, at the end of the gameplay footage, it looked like they were hinting at multiplayer, because please God, let me honk with my friends. Unfortunately, like most indie games, it has gone through a fair amount of delays. It was originally slated to release in 2018, only to be pushed back to early 2019, only to be pushed back again to later 2019, with no specific release date. While I am hyped to play this game, I know development takes time, and often projects can get delayed as more time is required to fix bugs and make the game the best it can be. I want this game to succeed after all, and I don't want it to be rushed just to make a deadline. However, I do believe some information about Untitled Goose Game could be released during E3. With the delay making the game come out later in the year, E3 would be an opportune time for developers to release a trailer, or a teaser, or even if we're lucky, a release date. I know there are a lot of other Nintendo games people would be talking about. I know we may be concerned with only Animal Crossing, but I still think marketing your game at E3 is a great way to get it well known out there, even if it's just simply releasing more information during that time frame. Bottom line, I want more information about Untitled Goose Game to be released during E3. It looks like such a fun and silly game, and I can see it being a huge hit on the Switch with how crazy it looks and all the funny situations that can happen within the game. Will a trailer come out? Maybe. Will it be delayed again? Could be. Will the game be even worth playing? I think so. This game has such a fun premise, and I want to learn more about it. And no matter what happens, even if we don't hear anything about Untitled Goose Game at E3, even if the game winds up being delayed again, it is still more likely to come out in 2019 than Mother 3. <laughs> please, Nintendo. Please. Please. I'll take that as a no. Ugh!